What's up guys, Hybrid Mongoose here, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And today, this is a big deal. Excellent throws have been fixed, guys. They have been fixed. So if you get a chance, if you're on Android, what are you doing? Download it now! Get it now! So if you're on Android and you don't know already, you should be, I, honestly, I would manually download this update. Link will be down in the dis description below. Uh, this is not a tutorial. I'm not explaining to you how to actually install this, but, you know, you should be able to figure it out. So Android update has definitely fixed the curve throw glitch where basically um, if you want to get technical depending on which way you're throwing so you've actually drew a circle and then you took half of that basically anything on the lower half would not actually be worth actually throwing at so you would have an issue where you know you would throw an excellent throw or even a great throw in the lower right hand or lower left hand portion of the actual circle and it wouldn't register as a curve throw. Now the downside of this is because even if you throw a great curve throw, it's better than an excellent straight throw basically, right? So when you had legendaries, a lot of people suggested to actually throw great throws instead because you had better accuracy with it. And if you're throwing great throws, you want to hit on the upper part of the actual circle. But now today, I actually downloaded the update last night, went out today and actually did four Entei raids, caught four in a row, guys, four in a row. But anyway, let's get into the actual update of this right now. And this is from PokemonGoLive.com, their recent update. It says, Pokemon Go updated to version 0.77.1 for Android and 1.47.1 for iOS. Guys, this, like I said, I cannot, this is one of the best updates I've seen in a while, and I'm super happy about it. But anyway, let's get into it. Trainers, Pokemon Go is in the process of, process of being updated to version 0.77.1 for Android, 1.47.1 for iOS devices. Below are some release notes and comments from our development team. A confirmation dialogue now appears when trying to transfer costumed Pokemon. Costume Pokemon can no longer be mass transferred. So basically your Ash Hat Pikachu, your Party Hat Pikachu, your Christmas Santa Hat Pikachu, those cannot be transferred and it will ask you again, just like it does when you're transferring uh, a legendary, whether you're sure you want to actually transfer that or not. Moving on, resolved a bug causing occasional network errors while battling gyms. We've all seen this before, especially when battling normal gyms. There's, there was one gym in Partridge Creek that literally was like network aired like crazy. Uh, resolved a bug causing raid battle lobbies to display the incorrect number of trainers preparing for battle. We've all seen this when you're the first to jump into a raid and you only see yourself. Um, so that's good that they actually fixed that. Saw that today. It's working today. You can actually see everybody in the raid. It's great. Resolved a bug causing Pokemon selected in a raid battle lobby to reset after clicking the items button. We've all seen that before. If you click on items, it'll reset your entire lineup. Uh, resolved a bug where some curveballs weren't were not being registered properly. That is the biggest deal right there. And then various bug fixes and performance updates. All right, so let's get that out of the way. So guys, this is a gigantic deal. This is gigantic, like I said. And you guys can see here from the footage of me catching and try, I was literally trying to aim for the bad spot. And I even tested with a couple other Pokemon as well, but I caught four Entei in a row today, guys. Four Entei in a row. I was going for all excellent. All excellent, guys. I was going for nothing but excellent. So I, I purposely did that so I could go, you know what? Because I'm actually pretty good and I'm honed in on throwing excellence, right? I've had... Entei has been one weird one for me where I haven't hit... I have, haven't been very confident in my throws with it because I've actually hit six excellence in a row, five excellence in a row, and it just runs. It doesn't matter, right? The problem is, is even though I thought I was hitting in the right spot, which was like the upper right or upper left portion of the excellent throw, because it was glitched and they were having an issue with it, I didn't fully trust that my excellent throws are really going through anyway. Uh, so now I noticed a huge difference. This update is gigantic, guys. It's gigantic. Download it now if you can. Download it now. And then, uh, so, you know, it's it's a big deal, guys. It's a big deal. Also, there is a data mine for this entire update as well. 
So this is actually from the Silk Road Reddit page here. It has, link will be in the description below to both of the things I'm refer referencing, but this is actually the data mine from the actual recent update. And they actually, it's got some really good Gen 3 news. It's got me hopeful for Gen 3 to come out. So if you click on the link in the description below, um, number five on that article actually says, support for Gen 3 Pokemon forms Deoxys and Cass forms. So, some Pokemon in each generation bend the rules on how typical Pokemon are classified. Example of this are Ditto, Unknown, Shinies, and thanks to Ni Niantic's approach, Party Hats, and other event-specific variants. In Pokemon Go, special species have variants have what are called form. Before Unknown could launch in-game, its forms were added to the APK. So we have good news. Support for these two new species forms have been added in the version 0.77.1 APK. So Deoxys, you know, it shows all of its forms, all four forms, normal form, attack form, defense form, speed form, and cast form, who has four forms as well, normal, sunny, rainy, and snowy. So this is a gigantic deal, guys. This is a gigantic deal. This got this has got me hopeful. Hopeful for Gen 3. This groundwork needed to be laid before these species could appear in Pokemon Go. So we're excited to see this progress and momentum towards Gen 3. Notably, Gen 3 sound files for the Pokemon Cries have not been added to the APK just yet. So Gen 3 isn't launching tomorrow, travelers, but we're getting close. So guys, we're getting close. And that is what I was suspecting. If you watch my video from yesterday, you know, uh, talking about Gen 3 hype and whether it's coming, I, I don't know if they're gonna actually have everything they need done before Halloween. If there is another data mine and they add the sounds before Halloween, we are looking at, it's probably gonna happen. So I'm waiting for that to happen. Once the sound files are in the game, it's only a matter of time before it's actually released. So. Fingers crossed, guys, that this is actually gonna happen. So guys, like I said, I went out this morning, I got four Entei's in a row. I caught a couple other Pokemon. This works now, guys, this works. The excellent throw trick, the, the curve throw glitch is fixed, guys. And thank you, Niantic, for that, seriously. That is a huge deal. I can't even tell you how many times I probably lost legendary Pokemon because of this. And I've yet to see you on 100% legendary. So the fact that you fix this now, now I feel confident in my throwing ability and myself that I'm okay with it now. Bring on the legendaries, bring on the 100%ers. I'm not scared, let's do it. So anyway guys, that is gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Download it now if you can, download it now.